Welcome to TheWolverine.com's Chalk Talk with Jerry Hanlon and uh, Coach Hanlon. Uh, a little bit of a rough Saturday for the guys that uh, you appreciate most, those offensive linemen. Yes, uh, they had some, some problems that they had to face, but the fact remains that uh, they still have to use the proper techniques, John. They have to understand what the defense is trying to do to them and then work to, to maintain a relationship with the rest of the guys on your line of scrimmage. And a couple of times we didn't get that done and uh, it gave uh, credit to the Michigan State uh, Spartans. They, they were very aggressive on their pass rushes and they pulled us out of our lanes and, and uh, gave us some problems. Well, we want to look at that, uh, some of those things today and talk about what you saw that was effective that they were doing, and especially in the light of, you know, I talked to Doug Skeen last night and he said coaches can be copycats and try to steal things and, and do what is, was effective uh, against the team so that uh, you can show us what Michigan needs to do to shore some of those things up. Well, there's a couple of things that I, I see and I'll, I'll just try to point them out to us. It's not easy to explain, John, because unless you've been at it for a while and understand what I'm uh, all the little nuances, it's a little hard, but I'll see what I can do here for you. First of all, as you well know, we're playing a lot of, not a lot, but we're playing some offense now where we're playing three tackles in the, in the game. In other words, we put two tackles to one side and then our guards and then another tackle with a tight end on the other side. When you do that, you kind of play into the hands of the defense a little bit while it's better for your blocking it also frees up a safety man because he's not a viable pass receiver because of his number and so forth. So you've got to be careful that when you do that, that they don't lock, lock, uh, gang up on you on that particular side. I mentioned the very first play that we ran. The idea was that we were going to run an off-tackle play with the ball being handed to and we were going to pull this backside guard around and everybody was going to gap block in that fashion so that you had uh, everybody blocked and he would come around and you'd hand the ball off. Well, what happened was on that particular play, because of the nature, they, they slanted the defense. They came hard like that. They came like that. And even this guy tried to run through a gap so that you would have fulfilled every gap. But because he was not a viable receiver, the safety man come up on the line of scrimmage and blitzed. And so when your guard pulled, he looked to see the linebacker. He wasn't there, but he didn't pick this man up. So bang, he was hit right in the backfield. So those are some of the things that are happening. They were slanting and angling the defense and trying to put people in every gap. Uh, one of the problems that we get is that if this, if this guard is setting and this center is setting on pass protection, they're actually setting towards a man too much instead of setting to a man in their area. In other words, he would set the block this guy right here, and when that guy did that, he kind of got out of here, which meant that now you had an awful big gap for somebody like a blitz to come up through the middle. When you set like that and that guy goes away, it more importantly is you should set straight back now and keep a proximity with your other people and help close that gap inside so that now you're able to control that a little bit. In other words, if he would set and take him and he would set and then they would take him, this guy came here and like that, now you had the center could come back and take him, your back would take him and you would have everybody blocked. But when you turn and make a move to the outside, you chase somebody because you want to be aggressive and get him, the next thing you know you're opening up big slots for linebackers to run through. And so the idea is not only do you want to go to get your, but you block your area and a man. And so that's a little, uh, that's one of the things that are happening out there. Kids are just trying to be aggressive, but when they do that, they take themselves out of their lane, take themselves out of the proximity to your next blocker, and it opens up some awful big holes. None of these interior guys have played a full season. How much of what you're seeing, uh, some of the things that are being done, can be a function of just not having been in those situations enough? A lot of it. <laughs> Let's face it, uh, you can practice it all you want, but if something little something different happens, if you've been there before, it's said, oh, I remember I did this back in 19... 
17 or whatever it was, and I now, now I know, so I can remember that. But if you've never been in that situation, it's much more difficult to adjust to something like that. Uh, let's face it, offensive line is still an awful tough position to play up there, particularly when you're getting all these motion and they're doing it on the snap of the ball. And you can practice it, but uh, when it happens, boom, boom, it's much more difficult to react to it. Uh, let's hope that this week our kids will be more ready to go. All right, and we'll continue to watch that development and see where they go. I uh, appreciate you joining us once, once again, Coach. Well, thank you, John.